Hi, I thought I would share this wee tip with anybody who's asthmatic and uses these Ventolin inhalers or puffers, whatever you want to call them, relievers. Um, these have been out for years and I've used them for years. I'm asthmatic. It's really only affected by pollen, dust, things like that. Certain things cause it and other things don't. And there's thousands of people all over the world rely on these things. If they feel a bit wheezy, they have to take a puff. Now, I don't know if you're aware or not, but the new ones have got a counter on the back. And it's a meter and it, it tells you how many doses are in the inhaler, which is great, you know, if it's run out. But for years, I would just shake it. I wouldn't know how much was in it. But they've decided to put this on. But what's happened is, because they've put that on, it's restricted the size of the hole inside. So when you breathe, you're not getting as much flow of air. So when it sprays, you can't breathe it as quick and deep into your lungs as you could before. And this is causing it a problem. Nobody likes them. Um, the other way to do it is keep your mouth open a bit and try and breathe in or buy one of these spacers, you know, but you can't exactly carry that in your pocket. So I was looking at this. Um, I had one that I was using and I'm finding it really, really difficult. So I looked at this and, and I thought, maybe this can come off. So I bent it and twisted it and I got a knife up the inside like this and just sliced it a bit just to see what would happen. Now, it takes a wee bit of slicing. And I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. Once you slice it off, it's just a tight band. There's a lip round here with a tight band and you just have to pop that out. I wouldn't try and cut through it in case you cut into the canister and then you've ruined your inhaler. But once you cut that off, just another wee bit pries out and it should be ready to go. There. So once you cut through that, pull that off and there you go your old style inhaler, pop it in there and it works. Now, it has got a hole at the back, you can put a bit of tape over that if you want, but it doesn't really matter. The more air you get when you're using this, the better. So now, when you're squishing it, you can get a good <sighs> hold your breath as normal and then let out slowly and it works a treat absolutely fantastic so there you go get rid of that stupid bloody thing and go by the old way shaking it to know how much is in it get rid of that and your inhalers just like they used to be anyway hope this helps thank you